Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rick McAvoy, photographer, writer, creator of websites, travel photography blogger. That takes me nicely into the subject of this video, which is 10 travel photography blog tips, helping make my blogs better. And I've even dressed the part, holiday shirt out, subtle as I know, but why not? It's not too nice out there to be honest with you, so um, let's um, all dream of sunnier, nicer places. Travel photography blogs are a big thing in my work these days. I have my main website, rickmacavoyphotography.com. I also have a website, H well, no, no, it's called Paxos Travel Guide, paxostravelguide.com, and that is just a travel guide to the Greek island of Paxos. I also have a hybrid website which was the um, not really sure what I'm doing um, website. It's a halfway house between the two photos of Santorini. Yes you could probably guess what that's about. Um, photos of Santorini. Will it fly? Who knows? Santorini for those who don't know is a Greek island up until the age of about 43, I thought it was in Italy. Shows what I know. So, what's in this blog post? Again, this is an older post. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have left that menu up there. Let's get rid of that. That's in the Squarespace editor bit, by the way. No, that wasn't a sponsored link. That was just a genuine confession of an error. Tip number one. Go to interesting places might sound obvious but people don't really want to read travel blogs about pool do they in dorset now i can say that because i live in pool in dorset i can also say that people don't want to read travel blogs about bolton because that's where i'm from sorry bolton but i fear it's the truth go to interesting places tell people about them make them want to go there tip number two don't rule out your home country the mistake I have been making for a long time. Travel photography, travel blogs. My country is a travel location to somebody else, so ignore what I said before. So obviously I was only joking about Pool and Bolton, didn't mean that. So yeah, travel does not exclude the country you live in, because not everybody lives in your country. Tip number three, take photos that provide an interesting insight into a location. Not the obvious stuff, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Nando's, they're everywhere, they all look the same. The interesting things, the things that define the character of a location. Find those interesting things, photograph them, share them, write about them. Tip number four. Don't take the obvious photos that everyone else has taken. I've heard quite a few tales about, um, I think Horseshoe Canyon is one of them, having never been to America. Um, Horseshoe Canyon, at sunset, there is a row of photographers with cameras on tripods, shoulder to shoulder, all taking the same photograph. Don't want to do that. I do make a point here about, if you check out my travel photography website, Photos of Santorini, you might notice the photos that you see are not the same ones that you see on a thousand other blogs. Now, while that might be a grandiose claim, one of the reasons for that is when I was taking my photos on the wonderful Greek island of Santorini, I didn't see a single soul. Well, one time, a coast load of um, tourists appeared, but they, um, they got whisked away as soon as the sun had popped over the horizon. I don't know if they were on a stop off on the way to the airport or if it was an organized trip. But all the photos I took in Santorini at sunrise and sunset, there's just me, nobody else. That's my justification for why I don't research locations. I like to say, I like to get there and find out for myself what need, what's interesting to photograph. I think it's fair to say that I'm quite lazy and I can't be bothered. Tip number five, choose titles for posts that people are searching for. Now then, if you're trying to get people to read your posts, make them interesting. Tip number six, 
write long enough blog posts to make an impact. Many studies have shown, sorry, proven that the optimum word length for the most popular, sorry, not the optimum, the number of words that the vast majority of the most popular blog posts on the internet have is around about, in crude terms, 2,000 words. Go with 2,000 words and you've got some good meaty content there. There is a bit more to it than that, but if you're just starting off, not a bad starting place. Wish I'd known that when I was churning out 200 words a day of rubbish. Yes, I used to do a daily blog, now I do a weekly blog. Tip number seven, make your blog post better than the competition. That actually says make your blog post better than the competition. Oh dear, another typo. Yep, yeah, make your blog post better. Don't have any typos in them. Moving on. Tip number eight, be informative. Give people information that's useful and interesting. Don't do what everybody else does. Tip number nine, write with passion and enthusiasm. I'm fortunate that I love travel and photography, so well, that's really how I've ended up doing travel photography because I, they're my two passions in life. So I write with enthusiasm and passion because it's just natural and genuine for me. There's no forced effort behind it. Don't write dull blogs, don't be boring. People won't be interested. Tip number 10, share your blog post strategically. Mm. I'll let you read that one. Well, you need to read something, put a bit of effort in. I've read it, written it after all. That was it, really. Obviously, I then mention a little bit about me. Ah, oh, photos of Santorini, my first ever logo. That's off Travel Guide, my second ever logo. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. This is another catch up on an old blog post. Now I'm in the swing of doing my weekly blogs. This is possibly video number 10. I'm getting to the point now where I can almost speak without running out of breath with nerves. So um, hopefully you'll find the quality of the blog post improving. I'm off to change my shirt. Please subscribe to my blog. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Forgot what I was going to say then. And also if you want to, check out my Pinterest feed on, I think it's just my name, Rick McAvoy. Okay, thank you. See you soon with another accompaniment to a photography blog post. Bye for now.